Right. Premier League stuff. Last night, we're, we won't talk about Liverpool's th- uh, hammering of Leicester. There is one team officially relegated from the Premier League, Shane, and that is Southampton after losing 2 0 to Fulham, which means Gavin Bazunu's first season as a first choice Premier League goalkeeper has not gone the way he would have liked. Relegated with his club, called out by Jamie Carragher last week as a big problem in the Southampton team, which I thought was, was he, in- yeah. incredibly was he harsh. Mm-hmm. So, what, what Jamie Carragher was pointing towards was that. Southampton have conceded 53 goals this season, but they have an XG conceded of 35.8. So the differential is 16 goals that another goalkeeper would be expected to see if the Gavin Bazunu is let in. Now, one issue with that measurement is that the current XG sort of uh, data on goalkeeping does not reflect the game state. So the XG is measuring the chance for the 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 goal scorer, not the goalie. So it doesn't take into account whether or not there's somebody blocking the goalkeeper's view or whether or not, you know, it took a bounce. That doesn't count. It only, it only counts the XG. So I, I don't know. I don't think it's very fair for Jimmy Carragher to look at that South, Southampton team and pick out the goalkeeper who has played the most amount of minutes for a player of his age as the problem and one of the reasons why South, Southampton are getting relegated. Yeah. Um, yeah, you see... I'm a numbers fella, so what am I going to do here? Argue against the numbers? If I argue mm-hmm. against the numbers, I'm kind of contradicting myself. Um, look, the way I would look at this, and I'm not trying to sidestep the issue, but the way I would look at this is... Gavin, <laughs> Gavin has had, in the grand scheme of his career trajectory and him his learning curve mm-hmm. as a goalkeeper, an absolutely brilliant season. You couldn't... You couldn't have predicted, you know, 12 months ago or however long it is that since he kind of properly broke into the team that he would have had this much experience and this much exposure at what is still a ridiculously young age for a goalkeeper. Um, For all the bad stuff that will have happened and some of the good stuff that will have happened, like, I wouldn't swap... I, I genuinely wouldn't. Maybe others would say, you know, will it have long-term damage to his confidence or anything like that? Everything I hear about the young fella, his attitude is supposed to be superb. I would imagine he has tremendous resilience. Um, you know, which would we rather that he had been the backup goalkeeper for Southampton all season and therefore shielded from any comments like Jamie Carragher's comment the other night, mm. um, or trust right in there playing week in week out with the ball fizzing past you into the back of the net on a regular occasion with, with pretty regularity, um. I, I just think it's it's you know it is what it is they've gone down has he made mistakes yeah I think we immediately jump to his defence every time because he's Irish and because he's such a likeable fella um, I do think there are occasions where he could have been better but I think I think we're looking at a guy I, I would have said before this season based on what I had seen that we were looking at a guy who by his mid-twenties could be a really top-notch goalkeeper and I think that this season to me ensures that he's well on the way to becoming an absolutely I don't think he's a top notch goalkeeper yet because he's only 21 mm. what would you have done like, saying look at numbers and all the rest of it but like would you have dropped him for the last pretty much the last four games as Sellers did not looking at the position where Southampton were in the league and what was happening and all the rest of it like if you're looking at that as a manager like obviously mm. I, it's, it, it hasn't made a blowing bit of difference to what's happened they've gone down and they've still they, I think they conceded 10 goals in the four games before they got dropped and they conceded 10 goals in the four like, games okay. after they got dropped and like you're kind of looking at it from a manager's point of view if you're Ruben Sellers because like there was the in- issue where I think he was actually going to lose his place a bit sooner in the season but McCarthy got got injured he picked up a knock and he missed training or whatever and then uh, Bazunu stayed in but you're kind of thinking to make that decision at that stage mm. of a season to drop your, your goalkeeper who is young when let's be honest if you're looking at numbers and all the rest of it they know they're down like they're not mm. going to stay up I know I, 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 can, I could see no logic in him being dropped mm. when he was dropped I could see logic with him being dropped sooner oh no that was the plan like, the issue was like, he was, I think if McCarthy McCarthy got a groin injury earlier on mm. in the season because it did look as if like, there was a great article over on, on The Athletic over the weekend because um, obviously you wanted to have a read of it just because to get a sense of the pure dysfunction that's being at Southampton in terms of that dressing room even we talk about Chelsea but like, Southampton have had two dressing rooms because you know the players and then naturally afterwards when there was changes made still there was kind of like uh, fluctuation of certain players to one dressing room and one to another because it was that much of a divide 
And like Bazuna wasn't mentioned actually in the piece. I was thinking, you were saying Jamie Carragher was talking about him being a problem. You look at the stats and you don't see something happening every week. I've seen him, I saw him once live and was against Man City. And even though he conceded four goals, I just thought, I came back and I said it afterwards, like he was the only one whose head didn't drop in that back mm. four. He was literally at one point picking up two with centre ha- halves off the ground and trying to get lads. And him and War Prowse are the ones were the ones continually talking. I was just going off that. But you're kind of thinking, well, if he's a big problem and you talk, look at all the stuff that was mentioned in that article about young players being issue and, and all the rest of it. Like, Bizuno isn't one of those players who's like that. Like, no. he, he spoke, if you look at this, like, I remember interviewing him when he just, like, when he'd gone to Man City and spent time with him in his house and then afterwards chatting to him when he's obviously been with Ireland and all. And he's come out and spoken about how difficult it was for him to adapt when he went to Man City. Not because... <laughs> it was like such a big step up in standard. It was like because of the drop in standards from a dressing room or Shamrock Rovers where it was like win, 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 like you don't drop your levels to going to a dressing room with kids who were taking the piss on you as money, didn't give a bollocks and he was thinking like this isn't for me. That's why he went down on loan. That's why he, he was the one pushing himself to go out on loan and go to Rochdale and then go to Portsmouth and then he got his move to Southampton. And you're kind of thinking from a manager like Sellers, like... And maybe it's the Irish because it's the Irish thing. You're kind of thinking this is a, a young manager as well, and without being patronising about it, it doesn't understand players then. Because if he's coming in and looking at Bazunu as a problem and his attitude and all the rest of it, and dropping him as some sort of an example because that's going to improve things, it just shows you that the absolute folly in it because of the results that had happened. But then also when you look at his whole character, like again, and it's very easy. And Guardiola, when I went over to Man City earlier on in the season as well, before that game, and asking him about Bazunu. Like Guardiola isn't one of those who will like throw out stuff just because you're a journalist mm. coming over from our country. Like if he had no interest in answering the question, he's like those other lads were asking stuff about Haaland and um, Ruben Diaz and all, and there was questions even about Gundogan. There was all these lads who he could have bigged up, but he doesn't. And then I asked him a question about Bazzino, and straight away the first thing he talked about was just his mentality from the day, first day of how he is around other players, how he is on a pitch, and you're kind of thinking. That doesn't tally then with a player who's been a big problem for that team. Don't get me wrong, there's been mistakes, but like Jamie Mack, like if you can't look at Southampton and see where some of the issues are in terms of defence and and also the midfield. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, but like, it's not an it outlandish was, point for no. for Carragher to be making. Well, that. No, 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 there is the issue. Feel... He's obviously a young. Don't get me wrong. He's still a young goalkeeper, and it's a really tough season for him. But where, what I'm coming from, the point I'm trying to make is, if you look at what's being said about like, to say the mentality and all the rest of it, like. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think that's the issue with. Bazzini. Well, in fairness, he wasn't saying it was. Well, I don't think the question is mentality, though. Like, it, it I, I don't. It was, feel it was all about the goals considered. I, I don't. Or, I just don't feel that there's a need for us to go to war on Gavin Bazuna's behalf here, right? He's a top class goalkeeper. He's 21 years of age. There's not a 21 year old goalkeeper in the world who would have played him goal for Southampton this year and come through the season unscathed. Mm. It, it, it's not going to happen. He's had a brilliant season in the grand scheme of his learning curve over the course of his career. He is going to be a top class goalkeeper by the time he hits 24, 25 and this season will actually have been a season that will have helped him to mm. become a top, top class goalkeeper in, in in my opinion. Like, I feel, is he, should he be immune to criticism? Absolutely not. Why oh, no. would he be immune to criticism? No, no, that's not what I'm saying but what I mean is I just think, I don't know, you, you talk about say narratives and all the rest of it. Like, if, if you've got an asset like what he is with Bazuna, you're probably thinking like, a weaker person for, for next year, you never know what's going to happen and if Sellers would be the manager, you're kind of thinking like, surely does not that play into it a little bit? Like, if no, you're a manager like... like I think like, that is the reason he was dropped. I think Southampton are protecting, they're oh, protecting okay. his sell-on value as opposed to yeah, trying know. to take him out of the team yeah. for other no, reasons. I think it's, yeah. they see, because now there's there's already rumours that Tottenham are going, going in from, there's already Premier League clubs looking at Gabby Bazunu as somebody who they can snatch up. Southampton. Keller and Bazunu as first and second choice. Now that they're gone. Yeah. So I think... No, this is based on just opinion only. Is that Southampton drop asked probably asked Sellers to drop Bazunu because they want to protect him for the rest of the season and sell keep his market value pretty but there, high. But there's no way again, and, and I can't. I'm I'm looking just purely at, you know, I I have a, a brilliant young goalkeeper coming through a cove, right? Brilliant young goalkeeper coming through a cove. But he's a really, really young goalkeeper. There was no way I was going to trust him into first choice goalkeeper this season. We've signed a really experienced goalkeeper who's been almost faultless first. Like in no other position on the field does experience count as much as in the goal. Like there is no yeah. way on God's green earth Tottenham are looking at Gavin Bazuno as a first choice goalkeeper for them next season. Not a hope in hell. 
that's not likewise Cueven Kelleher. Not going to happen. A team whose aspirations of finishing in the top six or whatever Spurs aspirations are these days, I don't know, in the Premier League, are not going to play a 21-year-old in goal. Not going to happen, lads. Mm. You sign a proven entity as a goalkeeper if you want to be a top team. You don't sign a player based on the potential, no matter how big his potential is. And his potential is massive. Don't, I don't I want anybody to interpret this as criticism. As I think he will be playing in goal for one of the top six teams in the Premier League by his mid-twenties. Nailed on. But Jesus, not now. Not ready for it yet. 